Hello everybody. So today I had some issues uh, with this camera system and kind of wanted to show everybody one of the tricks. You'll get some of these and for some reason with this setup, and I'm probably gonna do a bit of a review. This is the 16 channel La View. We got more of them over here set up on a makeshift network or part of my network. But this is the La View 16 channel uh, NVR CCTV system. Um, this is the uh, the NVR here, and I got all the 16 cameras. Um, what had happened was, is a couple of these came with set IP addresses. Some of them didn't. It's kind of weird, so I had to go through and reset a bunch of these. And if you notice here, these here are the ones I got plugged directly into the unit, and these are going to be on off the network. So I'm going to kind of show how the basics of getting those configured and stuff like that. First thing, uh, when you're having issues, reset these. Um, the domes are real easy. Actually, on the bullets, especially on these models, you've got a reset button right there. The letters are something I've done for mine to keep track of what I've got going because I got some of these that are plugging directly in the back of these, and I got some of these that are coming in across the network, which is kind of why I've got this uh, kind of a unique setup. So, I've got a dome camera here, and this is the LVPD54028C dome camera. And these up here are the PB3040W bullet cameras. So, if you need to reset these, like I said, on these, the reset button's right there. And the trick is, you have to hold the reset button for 25 seconds, unplug it for 25 seconds while still holding the reset button, then plug it back in for 25 seconds to uh, then... You let go of the reset button and it should reset and if it's plugged directly in it'll come in right there so on these you've got three screws and the dome cameras each one of them will come with one of these uh, keys if not you can go by the tool and use them and you just unscrew them standard thread it'll come off be wary there is a little elastic cable right there which was nice to keep it from being uh getting lost there are two screws, one there, and there's one over here that are typically, when I did these, they were tightened down pretty hard. Reset button on the domes are inside. I'm trying to turn this without pressing too much. And there's your reset button. So what you're gonna to have to do, and I'm gonna to have to do it like this. I'll set the camera right there. The trick is, pull down the button, count to 25. Plug it. Plug it back in, which this is kind of a pain in the butt. release that's your 25 seconds and like I said I apologize about the mess I've had to make a makeshift and the one thing you can verify you can go into the software basically you go into the menu then you go to camera camera and right now it's detecting you'll know it's working whenever this right under status you get the play button uh, what is this I just got to click out of the camera itself. So it's detecting, it probably just reset again. Uh, we do have indicator lights on the back, so just waiting for it to come back. And usually after it detects, it'll switch over to, you'll get this little play button. And it takes a minute. It actually, the first time you do it, it goes through and I think it configures the camera then reboots it once or twice. 
unfortunately it doesn't show you that the only thing you can hear is the clicking of the uh, uh, I think the oh there we go the uh, infrared and there we go you've got camera I have right here is now the camera and it's working on my cameras one through eight so do this now put that back up line up the screws and I'm only going to put a couple of turns on this because they still got to be mounted Don't need to be bolted down. And there's that. Now, for the other ones that are outside, basically coming in on, from the land port, all my cameras I have up here, okay, luckily I got a nice little cheat sheet here. And I've already sat through. So you go back into the software, you go to camera, camera. So it's kind of a trick go to you know i'm just highlighting it you don't have to select the box you get the edit box on plug and play is when you're plugging in, in the back if you're doing the network you have to go to manual mode and you have to input the ip address which for my camera nine one ah one dot And that one is a, I put a, I didn't put a very good password on these. So it is going to be, what was my, oh, I know what it was. Now I got a, not a very good password on this. So it's going to probably, yep, see, it gives me that weak password, but when you hit back, and there it is. There's one of my cameras over here. Which one is it? Ah, this one over here, which is currently plugged into this switch, which is coming in through this point. So that's a basics. It's actually relatively simple. Um, definitely resetting the resetting these, because I don't know what it is. Uh, the box we had was mangled. This, these may have been installed previously. Everything looks brand new, but who knows? Um, I will say that several of these cameras came with preset IP addresses, and some of them are set up as DHCP, so there you go. So hopefully this helps out a lot of people. Um, I'll post up in a little bit more description uh, in the, or a little bit more information in the description, so hopefully this helps you guys out a lot.